Born and raised Waterloo, Iowa. I graduated from East High School in 19, class of 97. Um, played football at UNI. Um, earned a scholarship to play football at UNI. Counselor said, how about criminology, sociology? I said, sure. I just want to play football. And um, ended up with Crim and Soch. Um, just thought I'd try law enforcement. I mean, I always thought cops were cool. I believe I was made, built for small town policing. Um, I I just I have the personality for it. Um, I like the one-on-one -on -one community policing. Um, I want the community, community to know me. I want to know them, um, which I think that's something that's lacking in big cities like Waterloo. Because at the end of the day, we're, we're human too. I'm a father. Um, there's nothing special about me. I just have a job to do. Um, I, do I, I don't even like when people call me chief. Um, to me, when you call me chief, it makes me feel like you, that you feel that I'm above you. Mm. Um, in reality, in my mind, we're, we're on the same playing field. As a, a black American, I'm, I don't represent both sides. My mom is white, my dad's black, but as a half breed or a black American, when people want to look at me and see a black American, um, I have I feel like I've broken barriers between these white communities. Because um, some of these people have never interacted with black people before. You know what, uh, with this writing stuff, to me it feels like it's it's setting me back as a black American of what what's going on with this looting and you know destroying property you know just going on knocking white people out or saying hey we're going to come to your neighborhood and take what's ours it, it, it's it's to me it's setting me back for what i feel like i have changed so many thoughts of people on black on black people you know especially you know when i became in law enforcement i lost a lot of my black friends because just the the stigma you want to call it, it comes with the black community and officers of it's like you're be, betraying the black community your uncle tom um your coon you're a sellout because you're working for the white man you're working you're wearing a white man's uniform i can't change what the what the past was well i i believe that the black community's um is targeted more that's where they spend the majority of the time i mean you know what you, you go out to 12th Street and Cedar Falls, you don't see cops out there. And the, you know, the big houses, nice yards, you know, you don't see cops out. You see them in the rundown areas where, where the crime is. But I think it, 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 there's so many factors that come in, you know, what it's history of um, generations of generations of families that have been in a system. And it, it, it just filters down. And some of these kids just, they, they just grow up knowing this is how their life's going to be. Um, they don't want to change the cycle. I watch cops, which is not on our TV, but I did. I used to like, what, what did you do? What did you say? I say I'm the top cop in the world, but you can, to me, you can handle that a lot better. You know, do some ver, ver we call it verbal duty, verbal jewel training. How to de-escalate a situation. The powerful, the most powerful weapon we got is our mouth. You know what? Stop reaching for your tools down here. You ain't going, this, this is, this is really going to escalate stuff talk to people so yes there needs to be more culture diversity training because yeah the black community is different from the white community come on just you got to be able to deal with both this is what our job is so i think that's the problem that's going on in america it's just you get these unfortunately officers that don't have that culture diversity training and i'm not just picking on the white black issue but that seems like what the issue is now they're going to these black communities and they're not they don't know how to talk talk get to know them but they want to go they want to come in their hands are on their gun do you know pointing a finger you know when i went when i was raised go by just a small second here. when i was raised we had rules and consequences now today it's always somebody else's fault you know i've been stopped by cops 11 times I've never had a bad interaction whatever because I, I try i was taught to treat people with respect respect goes a long ways I think once we start doing accountability on both ends, black and white, if you're a drug dealer, you get busted with drugs, own it. Yeah, you got me. Yep, that's mine. But no, these ain't my pants. These are my friend's pants. I have my friends borrow. 
nobody wants to take accountability and then you know what and it just goes downhill